have a much better deal. Meteorologist Dave Aguilera is in the Colorado Weather Center right now watching what's going on. There's that big vortex, Dave. Yeah, you may have heard the term polar vortex, and that's what we're pinning this on. Now, the term, believe it or not, has been around since the 1800s, since uh, really modern forecasting has began. Polar vortex has been in the literature. However, in recent years, it's been used more widely because it sounds a little more sexy to say that than just say Arctic plunge, polar vortex. Now, typically, it's just a low, big low pressure area up around the poles. It's a cold, stable area of low pressure and cold air. And the jet stream, which is called the Arctic Oscillation, is kind of keeping that contained for most of the winter. But then, from time to time, what happens is that oscillation will get a little wavy or unstable, and that opens the door for the polar vortex to push that cold air in. And this year, it is a really strong one that's pushing down. Take a look at where we're sitting right now as far as the temperatures go. Sioux Falls is 16 below, same in Minneapolis. Chicago right now is 17 below. And then, of course, you factor in the wind chills on that. Chicago's wind chill right now is 44 below zero. And Ely, Minnesota is at 32 below zero right now on their wind chill. Certainly no cold that I ever want to see uh, right there. We are on the fringes of that, but the sun is warming things up. Take a look at that temp. We're already 47 downtown, Alan. I'll give you an idea of how warm we will be for the rest of the week coming up in a little bit. All right, Dave, thanks a lot. Okay. New numbers from the state health department show hundreds fewer hospitalizations for flu this year.